The Taunus 17M, a car with vision, a car with profile, with an aerodynamic shape which is both elegant and functional at the same time. A car that's in a class of its own with a completely new interior, wide and clear, so elegant and quiet running. So elegant. Ruhig im Lauf. Now, with even more horsepower if you prefer, attractive and distinguished at the same time and reliable, it brakes and stops. Now, with front disc brakes as standard, exchange of experience of two satisfied car owners. Jetzt serienmäßig mit Scheibenbremsen vorn. Erfahrungsaustausch zweier zufriedener Wagenbesitzer. Take a test drive in the Taunus 17M. This advert won over Eric Thum in 1961, only just 25 years old, he bought a brand new Ford Taunus 17M. The amazing thing is, he still has it. Instead of driving it for a couple of years and then trading it in for the next model, he simply kept his bathtub, as the unconventional Ford saloon was affectionately called by fans. Almost 40 years with the same owner, a very rare thing in the vintage scene. Bathtub owner Eric Thurn remembers his first long trip with the new Ford. <laughs> I picked it up myself in Cologne in 1961 in November and have been driving it ever since, always roadworthy. I took the train overnight to Cologne on a Friday evening. In the morning it was foggy, I got into the taxi and paid five marks and then collected the car at the dispatch garage. Then I drove down the Rhine in lovely weather like today, down the Rhine and the Neckar to Heilbronn. I felt like a king in the bathtub. <laughs> I incorporated the mud guards into the wheel arch so that the dirt didn't spray into the corner. The engine I overhauled myself, I rebuilt it. I had the cylinder heads made unleaded in the grinding shop and then I had a V2 exhaust installed and a regulated catalytic converter. At its presentation in 1960, the Taunus 17MP3 was a small sensation. Its striking exterior was the result of long wind tunnel tests. It replaced the very florid style of its predecessors, derided as stuffy. Ahead of its time went the self-confident evaluation of the streamlined saloon from Cologne. Its nickname of bathtub came from the strikingly high bumpers which flow into the indicators at the front. Ford also produced some surprises at the back with hitherto unseen curves. The once more rather restrained chrome decoration revealed the new zeitgeist of the 60s. Inside, there's the same combination of round design elements and not too profuse chrome decoration. Eric Thurn's P3 is barely showing its age. Under the slip covers hide the well-protected original seats. For the now 64-year-old pensioner, the generous roominess of the Taunus was very important at the time, and the bathtub didn't just offer this for passengers, but also for their luggage. Being down-to-earth and thrifty, Eric Thurn opted for the small 1.5-litre four-cylinder with 55 horsepower. That's enough for motorway speeds of 130 kilometres per hour, even with the retrofitted catalytic converter.
I can hardly believe that we've both grown so old together. Back then I was 25 and now I'm 64. I'm very happy with the car and go to many vintage rallies. When I drive around, everyone looks at me. It's understandable that a person wouldn't want to be separated from such a loyal life partner. The Ford engineers surely had little idea that their newest child would one day last so long. We risk a look back at the development of the Ford bathtub. Development work began 24 months ago. The first step was to establish the basic dimensions. These were determined by the size of a human being, represented by Oscar, a statistical norm developed from the average of thousands of car drivers. Then the designers, then called stylists, set to work. Step by step, from one draft to the next, the external shape of the bodywork is developed until the final concept emerges from hundreds of sketches. The 3 8 clay model, the first three-dimensional model of the draft that previously only existed on paper. Progress in the interior, too. Of course, women were responsible for the creation of the seat covers. Yes, yes, it's a long time ago. At any rate, Eric Zürn 17M proves the meticulous development work of the Ford factory in Cologne. But how expensive was a Taunus P3 in 1961? The owner remembers. 6,400 and then heating and antifreeze, that brought it to 7,000 marks already. And then the four-speed gearbox and radio on top. Not very much money, given that the Taunus was the only new car he bought in his whole life. There were no costly repairs. Once on holiday in Denmark, the windscreen broke. But otherwise, the Ford never broke down. Eric Thurn invested in careful rust protection, new paint, an engine overhaul, and the usual expendable parts enough for 40 years' life for a car, right?